Super Rugby Aotearoa started here in Dunedin back in mid-June. And just over two months later, the tournament, which ends this afternoon, is being labelled as an outstanding success. Tomorrow's match at Eden Park sadly cancelled. The Highlanders and the Hurricanes will bring down the curtain here at Forsyth Bar Stadium. Free and goes far side. Quickly taken by McKinley Tu'u. As the Highlanders advance up to near the 22, Smith gets it away. Wet and he's dropped it cold. And it could be a turnover ball here. Wide pass has gone to Barrett. Put him in a bit of space too. And now Jordy Barrett looks to link up with Booth, who's got pace. Looking to link up further in field. And he pops it up now to Garden Basham. Sends it wide. And Sabir gets his pass away. And Vincent So scores the opening try of the game. The half. Well, wow, just like the opening round of Aotearoa Super Rugby, we had razzle-dazzle from the first round, and that is not going to dissipate. Yeah. Round 10, and it's a length of the field try for the Hurricanes. That. So just showing me you guys are not pulling back, and we've got a gap. First kick of the afternoon for Geordie Barrett, and uh, left to right, bangs it through, converts the try scored by Vince Asso, and the Hurricanes lead early by 7-0. Smith there off to Parkinson. Smith there quickly, fires it away for Big Ed. Gap opens up and the try is coming and is scored by Nani Pumibai, who's only been on the park for a couple of minutes and the Highlanders hit back. They worked it really well from the scrum, a set play. There's Hunt, just a slight little show and go. Nice little shift on for Ioane. No, really noticeable that it's Mitch Hunt. Ioane just slotting into 12, which he's played a lot at, varying their first receiver. And Punivai goes in. Here he is. Conversion attempt and a nicely judged kick too. So he converts the try scored by Punivai. And it's 7 all. And now the Hurricanes have turned it over. So Barrett gives it off to Garden Basham. Holds it up, Garden Basham. Feeds it up here to Umunga Jensen. In it goes to Booth. Now Booth has some pace and he may be able to use it. Booth is going and he's going to score. Jamie Booth under the bar. Coast to coast tonight, the Hurricanes. Garden Bishop show and go beautifully. And then the offload to Umanga Jensen, who makes a brilliant decision. Booth has been here before. This time he makes the right decision. Holds it, right foot, left foot step, I should say. And they go, like I say, coast to coast again. Seven, six, hold! So Wetton towers up, Frizzell takes it off him. Ash Dixon will join the party, and this is looking good. Dixon goes low, and Dixon scores. His 100th game, Ash Dixon scores for the Highlanders. So, boys, we'll just be watching set up And at halftime here at Forsyth Bar Stadium in the final Super Rugby Aotearoa match of the season, it is 14 all. Quick inside pass from Johnston. And the tight forwards doing a great job with the short passes. Here's a flat pass for Jonah Nariki. Again, it's wet and plowing on downfield. He's made giant strides this season. Here is Nariki again, finding Collins, who's off on a searching run. What a good try. That is a beautiful try, scored by Michael Collins. Off Nariki again, inside to Collins, who seems to have that knack. Great decision maker, as we mentioned. And that is absolutely outstanding team orientated try finished by Collins. So the line out throw again is taken down by Wet. Advantage early. And the Hurricanes have gone early once more. Penny advantage. So they're playing under an advantage, and the Highlanders know this. Dixon holding it up, holding it up. Still going, Dixon, still going, and hard to know, hard to know, yes, no, he's given it. That should be a penalty try. Side entry, it's a yellow card. Penalty try. Penalty try and a yellow card. So the Highlanders get a seven-pointer. Scrafton has it. Now Blackburn slips a short pass to Princep. Release! Islanders driving hard over the ball here. 
Falls out. And the ball is out. And that's terrific play. And here's a go down the right wing side. And the chase is on. They're not going to catch him. And it's Mitch Hunt. And uh, the Highlanders are in again. And they score another one. Aaron Smith uh, scoops the ball up, brings in that last defender. Mitch Hunt punches onto it in the fullback jersey. He's got too much speed for Garden Bash of who was coming across Geordie. Barrett couldn't get in the race, and the Highlanders break out and score from deep in their own half. Okay, Barnett's 12 blue offside. As Devin Flanders is taken to ground, playing a penalty advantage. Off to Garden Basher. Dribbles a little kick through. And try scored. It wasn't actually controlled by Mitch Hunt. And Umanga Jensen has got in and scored the try. And that is the end of the game. And a very good win for the Highlanders. And they've run out the winners, deservedly so, by 38 points to 21.